Illustrator. I'm going to set it to 1280 by 1280 pixels. And then I just want to make sure we have our document set up for a consistent workflow. I'm going to go over here to view and I'm going to make sure the only thing we have selected here is snap to point. Everything else should be unchecked. And then I'll go to uh, window and what we want selected here is control, align, color, and stroke. And once we've done that, we can close out of that. And down here where it says align, I'm going to set the align to, I'm going to set that to align to artboard. Now we can close out of that. And the first thing I want to do is create an ellipse. So I'm going to come over here to the squares tool and click and hold on that and just come down here to where it says ellipse. And once we have ellipse selected, I'm going to hold shift and alt on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly round uh, circle like that. And up here, I'm going to change the fill color to black and I'm going to change the stroke color to none. So go ahead and click that red slash to turn that off. Now we can press escape on the keyboard to get out of that. And I want to set the opacity of this down to about 50%. It doesn't have to be exactly 50, but somewhere in that range. And again, I'll press escape on the keyboard to get out of that. And once I've done that, I want to come over here to the align, uh, the align panel and just make sure we have it aligned. Um, we have it centered up on the horizontal and vertical axis, just like that. And what I want to do now is create a square. So I'm going to click and hold on this ellipse tool and choose rectangle and I'll hold shift and alt on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that and I want to set the color of this to I'm just going to make that red for now and again I'll take the opacity of this and bring this down in half and what I want to do now is come over here to the select tool and I want to hold alt on the keyboard and click and drag on that rectangle and that's going to create a copy of it, a duplicate copy. And I'm going to take that duplicate copy and make that green. And then I am going to hold control on the keyboard and grab this little bottom left corner and just snap that onto the bottom right corner of the red rectangle like that. So they're sitting flush next to each other. And once we've done that, I'm just going to click and drag over both of those. So we have them both selected and I'll hold alt and click and drag those so we can create duplicates of them as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the cursor out to this top right corner just on the outside and you're going to notice the cursor turn into a rotate icon. And once you've done that, once you've got that rotate icon, I'm just going to click and, I'm going to click and drag to rotate this around 180 degrees like that. And once I get around to 180 degrees, I'm going to hold shift to lock it onto that axis just like that. So what we end up with is the colors being flipped around. And I'm going to hold control, grab this node here and just snap it onto the bottom left corner red node right there and then I'll click and drag over all four of those rectangles and I want to group them all together by hitting control G on the keyboard and again I want to rotate this around bring the cursor out here until we get the rotate icon rotate it around and hold shift until we get it with the corners going vertically and horizontally like that and now what I want to do is align this on the artboard horizontally and vertically like that and we want to make sure that this series of squares is larger than the ellipse. If it ends up being smaller than the ellipse like that in any way, or if you have any of the ellipse sticking out of the outside here, just hold shift and alt and just rotate it up until everything is much, much bigger here. And what I want to do now is I want to click and drag over everything. And I want to go to the shape builder tool, which is over here. And I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and click on that piece right there and that's going to delete it. And again, I'm going to hold Alt and click on these pieces all out here just to delete all of them. And what I'll do now is I'll go back to the Select tool and I want to take this series of circles and just move this up and just hold Shift on the keyboard so it locks it onto the vertical axis so it doesn't shift over left or right at all. You know what, let me click off of that to deselect everything. Let me do this, hold Shift, bring this down here like that. And then take this circle, hold shift, bring that down here like that. So we end up with something like this. And what I want to do is take this series of circles now and I want to hold alt and click and drag them. And I just want to rotate them around again, get the rotate icon, rotate it around, hold shift and bring it over two steps to the right or clockwise like that. So we have the red shapes going up and down and the green shapes going left and right. And I want to center this up on the artboard on the horizontal and vertical axis and hold shift and alt and scale that down about that small. 
And then I want to take this series of circles and center that up on the artboard. So we end up with something like that right there. And what I'll do now is I'm going to take this smaller series of circles and I'm just going to hold Shift and Alt and scale them down a little bit as well. Maybe about that much is pretty good. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click and drag over everything and take this bottom node right here and just click and drag that up to distort the uh, the dimensions so we get a uh, like almost like an ellipse sort of, sort of shape instead of a circle. And what I'll do now is click off of that to deselect everything. I'll take this black ellipse and just bring this down while holding shift to lock it onto the vertical axis. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click and drag over all of these circles right here. Not this one, but over these shapes right here. I want to ungroup them by hitting Control, Shift, and G on the keyboard. You may want to hit that a couple of times just to ungroup everything. And I want to bring the opacity of them all the way up to 100% like that. And now I can click off of that to deselect everything. And what this is going to be right here, this is going to end up being these parts, but we're going to color them in first and then shift them over. So I'm going to click on this larger red shape. Let me zoom in on this so you can see it better. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel so you can see, uh, see it better. Hold Shift, click on this green shape, and then this larger red shape, and then this larger green shape. So we have all of them selected. And what I want to do is make them the color of this right here. So I'm going to double click on this question mark icon and just choose a shade of uh, almost like a colored pencil like the inside of a pencil uh, sort of color. I'll go with something like that right there. Go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do now is click on this green shape and I want to make this, I'm going to make this red. Go ahead and click OK. I'm going to take this object right here, this one, this other red one, and I want to make this uh, yellow. Something like that's pretty good. And I will take this one right here. I want to make this one green, but a different shade of green. Maybe something with more, a little more blue in it. It's like that. That's pretty good. And then I'll take this one and I'll make this one blue. I'll go with a shade like this, maybe. Okay, good. And what I want to do now is let's click off of that to deselect everything. I want to click on this yellow shape and then hold shift and click on this uh, tan shape above it. And then just click and drag this up like that. But make sure to hold shift on the keyboard so it locks onto the vertical axis. So you end up with this shape floating up in space like that. Then I want to take this blue shape and then hold shift, click on this larger tan shape beneath it. And just click and drag this down again while holding shift to lock it onto the vertical axis. I want to bring this down to about there. Put a little more space in there than we did with this one. And I want to do the same thing with this shape right here. Click on the green one, hold shift, click on the other one, and bring it down while holding shift to lock it onto the vertical axis like that. And then we should have these different, differently spaced shapes like that. And we can click off of that to deselect everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in the insides, the, uh, the empty space beneath, between these shapes, like what you see here, this darker tan, that's what that, this darker tan color, that's what that's there for. So I'm going to grab the pen tool, which is over here, keyboard shortcut would be P. And I'm going to snap to this corner and click, snap to this corner, click, snap to this corner, and then over here, and then over here. So we end up with a shape that closes the gap between these two objects right here. And I want to grab the dropper, the, uh, the eyedropper tool, and just click and, click and drag over that segment right there to make that the same shade. And what I'll do is I'll double click on that and just make that a little bit darker. I'll go with something like that right there. That's, that's what we're looking for. So I'll go back to the pen tool. I'm going to do the same thing with these other shapes. Let me grab the, uh, where is that, the pen tool. I'm going to start over here, do the same thing on this side. Do the same thing over here, create another one up here. And then finally one more right there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create other shapes going inside of here to mark the inside of the color pencil. So to do that, I'll start on this corner of the red shape, bring it down to the, uh, the, uh, the, the corner of the blue shape, back up here and then back to the start. And again, I'll grab the eyedropper tool, grab a sample of that color red, and then just make that a little bit darker. 
Maybe like that. Maybe a little darker than that. That's better. I'll go back to the pen tool and do the same thing. I'm going to create another shape in here. Grab the dropper tool, make that the same shade of yellow, but this one we want to make a little lighter. So I'm going to double click on that. Make this a little lighter, something like that. Go ahead and click OK. Back to the pen tool. I'm going to create another shape right here. And for this one, I'm going to make this almost like an orange. An orange shade like that, maybe a little more yellow in there. There we go. And the idea is that we have a medium shade yellow up top, a darker shade yellow on the left, or a more of an orange shade, and then a lighter shade on the right. And finally, I'm going to close this piece in right here. Grab the dropper tool, make that the same color. Double click that, make this a little darker. There we go. And what we could do now is I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to hold Alt and roll down the mouse wheel. It's time to start creating the rest of the pencil, uh, the body portion of the pencil that you see here. And to do that, I'm going to grab the pen tool, which is over here. I'm going to snap it onto this inside corner right there. Hold Shift and just bring it straight down all the way through past the ellipse on the bottom. Then click. Now we can let go of shift and bring this to the outside over here and then snap it to the left corner of this ellipse. You're not going to be able to see it through the green, but you'll, be able, you'll know when it snaps. There it is. And then snap to this left side over here and then back over here to the starting point. And I'm going to grab the dropper, make that the same shade of red that this is. And I want to right click on that, on that red shape and go to arrange, send to the back. So it's going to sit beneath everything like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this right side. Let me grab the pen tool, snap to this inside corner, hold shift, bring it straight down, let go of shift, bring it out here, snap to this right side once you find it, snap to this right side up here, back to the starting point. And I'm going to grab the dropper tool, make this the same shade of green that that is. Right click on that shape and go to arrange, send to back. And what I'll do now is I'll create the shape for the blue side. So to do that, grab the pen tool, snap to this corner, snap to this corner. This one should be the easiest one yet. Snap to this corner, snap to this corner, and back to this, back to the starting point. Grab the dropper, make that blue, and right click on that, arrange, send to the back. Now one more thing I'd like to point out is that if you notice in the um, in the thumbnail design here, I used two different shades of blue for this blue segment. And that's just to help balance out the appearance of it a little more, almost to help give it the appearance of like it's a shadow, like the top portion, there's light shining down on it. And then the bottom portion is like the shadow. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in on this area up here by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. I'm going to grab the pen tool, snap to this inside corner right there, hold shift, bring it straight through like that. Click, let go of shift and bring this outside over here, click to this corner, and then click back to the starting point. And I want to double click this and make this a darker shade of blue. I'm going to go with maybe something like that. Go ahead and click OK. And let me hold Alt and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. If you'd like to move the canvas around, just press down on your space bar, then click and drag, and then you can move the, move the page around like that. And what I want to do now is put that same shade on the left side, on the left half of this blue shape. So let me go back to the, uh, actually I'm still on the pen tool. Let me snap to this middle edge right here. Hold shift, bring it straight down. Bring it up to this corner, actually bring it out here like that. Up to this corner, up to this corner, back to the starting point. And for this one, I want to right click that and go to arrange, send to the back. And then go to the select tool and click on the lighter blue, bigger shape right here. Right click that and go to arrange, send to the back. And let me hold alt and roll down the mouse wheel and zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're working with here. So what I want to do now is get rid of this, get rid of the, the, uh, the portion of the image that's sticking out here. So to do that, I'm going to click and drag over everything so we have everything selected. I'm going to go to the shape builder tool and then hold alt and then just click on these areas out here to get rid of them. Now we can go back to the select tool. I want to zoom in on this portion over here because I want to get rid of this area. Let me 
uh, deselect everything by hitting Control Shift A. You can deselect everything with Control Shift A, or you could just click off of the graphic, whichever whichever you'd like to do. And once we have it all de deselected, I want to click on this light uh, blue shape. Hold Shift, click on this dark blue shape. Hold, uh, actually no, go to the Shape Builder tool, and then hold Alt and click on that to get rid of that outside area. And now we can go back to the Select tool. Let me zoom out. So what I want to do now is take this black ellipse that we originally created and just click and drag that down while holding shift because we're going to create the actual point of the pencil now like what you see here down here so let me move that down a little more the bottom point of this circle is going to be where the tip of the pencil is so try to keep that in mind when you're deciding where to position it so i think right about there you can just eyeball it that's pretty good uh, let me just make sure it's still centered up on the artboard all right good and what I'm gonna do is let's just click off of it to deselect everything I'm gonna grab the pen tool snap to this bottom edge down here and then we're gonna come up here we're not gonna to snap to anything I'm gonna hold alt and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in I'm gonna put this on the edge right about out here like that and try to envision where the line is going all the way through to the top but without without it sticking out from the outside of this red shape. You only want it going inside a little bit like that. So maybe right about there. That's a good point right there. Once we've put that there, I'm gonna put this onto this center point. And again, just pressing down the space bar and clicking and dragging to move the canvas around if you have to. I'm gonna snap back to the starting point. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I wanna make this the same shade that this darker tan shade is. So I'm gonna grab the dropper tool, make that that color. And I want to grab the select tool and hold alt and click and drag this over here to create a copy of it. And now I just want to mirror this. I want to flip that around vertically. So to do that, I'm going to come over to the rotate tool, click and hold on that and choose the reflect tool. And then just bring your cursor outside of the shape and just rotate it around until it's rotated vertically like that. And then just hold shift to lock it just like that. And I'm going to grab the dropper tool make that the same shade as the lighter tan right there grab the select tool hold control grab this bottom node over here and just snap it snap that onto the bottom left to the bottom shape the bottom node over there and uh, let me take this circle right here I'm gonna hold shift and click and drag that down out of the way what we're gonna do now is create the tip of the pencil right here which will be one of the last steps so to do that Actually, let's click on this object, right click it and go to arrange, send to the back. So it's beneath everything down there. And then we're gonna do the same thing, right click, oops, click on that object, right click it, arrange, send to back. And what I wanna do is hold shift and click on the other shapes so we have them both selected and hold alt and click and drag to create duplicate copies. And then hold control and grab the bottom node and snap it back onto the bottom node over here. So we end up with duplicates. And I'm gonna click and click off of that to deselect everything. Take just this left shape, grab the dropper, make it the same shade of blue on the left side. Go back to the select tool, choose this shape, grab the dropper, same shade of blue on the right side. So we end up with something like that. And I'll grab the select tool. And I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna click and drag and hold shift this ellipse, bring this up to about here and then hold shift and click on the two blue shapes that we just selected. So we should have all three of these objects selected, the ellipse and the two blue shapes. Let me put that back. Once we've done that, I'm gonna come over to the Shape Builder tool, hold Alt, click on this portion to get rid of it. And then while still holding Alt, click on that portion to get rid of it. Now we'll go back to the Select tool. I'm gonna to hold shift and click on this blue shape to deselect it and then hold shift and click on this blue shape to deselect that. And out of everything that's left selected, just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. Now let me hold alt and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. As you can see, we have our colored pencil here. We just have to rotate it around and put a little bit of a shadow beneath it. Um, you could adjust the size and the length of it. I'm gonna adjust mine right now. I'm gonna click and drag over everything and I'm gonna grab the, uh, the direct selection tool and I'm just gonna click and drag over the top half, over the top portion of those nodes. So only those nodes are selected. And then I'll just grab one of them and just hold shift and just click and drag it up like that. There we go, that's looking pretty good. And what we could do now is go back to the select tool, 
click and drag over everything, group it all together by hitting Control G, and I just want to rotate this around counterclockwise. So I'm going to bring the cursor to the outside over here, wait until it turns into a rotate icon and just start to rotate it around and then hold shift so we lock it onto 15 degree angles like that. Bring this over here. Uh, I'm going to hold shift and alt and just scale that down a little bit. Maybe about that much. I'm going to center it up on the, on the artboard vertically and horizontally. And I want to create a duplicate copy of this. So I'm going to hold alt and click and drag it. And I want to ungroup it all together. So I'm going to hold control shift and G. I'll click that a few times to ungroup everything. Go to the Pathfinder tab and click on this where it says Shape Modes Unite. That's going to unite everything into one single object. And I'll just make that, I'll make this whole thing black like that. Go ahead and click OK. And I want to hold Control, grab this bottom right node, and just snap it onto the tip of the pencil over here like that. And then I'll take this top node and just bring that down like that to distort it. Right click it, Arrange. Send to the back, and then we could drop the opacity down to however much you'd like. I think maybe 24 looks pretty good. And there you pretty much have it. We've created the drop shadow beneath our colored pencil infographic. So that's how you can do that with Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.